All right, ECE 573 final project. This is Jonathan Gill with the face case application giving you a project demonstration. First thing we're going to do is we're going to do face detection of a static image. We're going to pick the image that we want. Uh, this one usually ends up being a pretty fast detection process. So we're going to go ahead and detect those faces. The face detection process runs on a separate thread, so technically the elements of this interface are interactable, but we don't want it to interfere with the detection process. The app is going to go through 10 iterations, 10 sweeps, and in those sweeps it is going to vary the dimensions of the image that it's looking at. All right, so here are our results. So we see it's got some interesting properties. It, it really likes to detect arms, but other than that, we know that it, it does do a semi-decent job of putting dots on top of faces. All right, so other than the face detection, we also have some settings that can be modified inside the app. These settings are accessible through the settings button on the bottom here. We can change the directory where images are loaded from. And what's nice is if I just type in something ridiculous here, well, I have to use this keyboard. Um, it automatically checks to make sure that the directory that we type in is valid and exists. And if it's not, then it just goes back to the default. So we're going to leave that alone. The next item that we can modify is the timeout time, and this is actually the number of sweeps that the program goes through while it's detecting faces in an image. We can change this to any number between 1 and 10. So let's change this to two detections, or two sweeps. So we'll do that. We hit OK. We see that the value doesn't change, so that's an OK number. And email network button, that's part of the A requirements. We can email the configuration of the current network to someone else. On the emulator, it doesn't work too well. It wants me to start a conversation, but on a regular phone, it would open up an email page and it would add the network configuration as an attachment. And the last button we have on the settings page, other than the licensing, is the train button. And what this does is it takes a default set of images and some random noise and attempts to train the neural network over again to look for faces. And this was part of the B requirements. This actually takes quite a long time to do. The training process it takes a long time, so this will also be sped up in the video. All right, so lucky for us, it only took about 18 iterations for the network to converge on a solution. So let's go ahead and see how this new network performs on similar images. So we're going to go ahead and pick a new image to detect, but it's actually going to be one of the ones that we've processed before, just to get a feeling for how well the network will perform. So let's detect those faces. So if we compare the results of this image with the results of the previous image, we see that they're exactly the same, which is not exactly unanticipated because the network was trained using the same training set as it was originally.